Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And I have been trying relentlessly to get these last four unique species. I've not had any luck. I've uh, gotten quite a few new spots, and I've caught quite a few fish. But I'm still lacking the Mahi Mahi, and for some reason, I, they've been eluding me. I, I did exactly what I did before and can't seem to find them. The Ruby Snapper. The skipjack tuna, which is what we're going to focus on here, if we can. And what's the last one? I... The jobfish. Yes, that God bless a jobfish. Green jobfish has been... I've been to several locations, caught quite a few trophies. Tons of regular size ones. Still no unique. I've caught them off of pilkers. I've caught them off of every bait possible. I'm totally out of my uh, large fish strips. Still can't seem to find them. But anyway, this is supposed to be a new spot for Skipjack Tuna. Uh, Super Dave had listed it in his channel. I sometimes check him out. If you ever want to find a hot spot, he's the man to go to, guys. Sometimes, if you cannot find them, he will usually find them for you. But it looks like we have a lot of them right at the right level. And the thing, thing is, though, there are a lot of albacore, usually with the skipjack. So you probably will be getting those. You might be getting dog tooth tunas. I have two spots on my map that I really like for the skipjack. I've caught them along here on what I call Tuna Highway. I've caught them down here. I really haven't given it a name, but this is the yellow fin tuna hot spot that I found. But I've also caught quite a few skipjack there, too. Trophy size is actually the first trophy size one I caught there. But he has a spot right along here that he he said you could travel along. It seems like they love to go right where there's a drop-off. But I'm going to try fishing this just to give it a try. I already see that there's some birds over there, which is usually a good sign. But we've got something. Let's see, let me check it out right there. So, and I'm seeing him jump, so I think we're going to go ahead and try that. Let's see, what I've got set up, I'm actually going to try a little bit of both, but I make sure that the hooks are smaller for these guys. These squid chains, this trophy squid chain, might give me a little bit more advantage on this one. And I'm going to try a plug. We'll see if that doesn't work, I'm hoping. Let's go ahead and... I really want to get this finished before I run out of my <laughs> time here. I can't really afford to buy more time, honestly, at this point. Let's see here. Let's throw this out there. Let's see if we can't catch these guys. I tell you. Yeah, Super Dave also had a good place for green joke fish. Where he's caught the unique ones, but I wasn't catching him there either. So, either he's lucky or I'm unlucky or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's the way fishing is sometimes, guys. Just don't always know. But we're going to go ahead and go over to this spot where I can actually see them. And then we'll travel up the length of that if we can. But I can hear them jumping. Yep, there they are. There's... I can't tell what kind of tuna they are. They could be albacore. They could be Pacific bluefin. 
but we shall see. I can't really tell. Big guy. Now I've I've gone right through the middle of tune. I saw obviously saw that they were yellow fin. And caught bluefin or albacore. So it, just because you're going through what you're seeing doesn't mean what you're going to catch. <laughs> okay, we're going to turn this sucker around a little bit. And head right into them and up that ridge basically where it drops off it looks like I already had one on there but it got off some sort of way Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Okay, we got something. We got one on both now. Hold on. Let's slow this tugboat down here a little bit. Okay, we lost that one. We still got this one. This might be about the right size. He's coming in pretty easy. Again, this could be albacore too. This could be... It's not a big one, I don't think. It's not like a blue fin. Let's see what we got here. Yes! Holy crap! <laughs> that never happens. That never, 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 never happens. Holy crackies. And I got a bite on the other one, of course. Unique skipjack tuna. I do not believe that happened. That was a... F you saw how quick... That never happens. I have been fishing for... Yeah, I'm a little excited because, like, again... To see how distinct they are from the albacore. They have the stripes on the belly. They don't have the big... What a, I guess they look like wings like the albacore have. But that is him. 40, 66 pounds, 49.5 inches. That is awesome. I cannot believe I got one that quick. That never happens. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to grab this. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's a bit bigger than a skipjack, I'm afraid. Wow. Well, I am, in all rights, using a plug. It's good size. This is probably a marlin. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a marlin. So this one's going to be a fight. Yeah, when they take it out that hard, it's... either a marlin or a massive bluefin. Look at them all. Jesus. Like I said, Super Dave, he knows his stuff, man. Yeah, check out his channel, guys. He and Bo Angles are two of the best Fishing Planet YouTubers I've seen. This has got to be a marlin. Holy crap. Look at him go. Four hundred fifty-six and still going. Well, I've got a thousand feet, and he may just take it. Well, okay, guys, I'm gonna be here a minute. <laughs> I'll bring you back once we get a little bit closer.
a little longer than a few minutes later. All right, guys, I am back. Twenty minutes, real time. We've been at this twenty minutes, and he still keeps doing this kind of crap. Now he got it out past five hundred. He kept it at three hundred and more or more feet, and just kept bouncing back and forth. And now he keeps taking it back up to two hundred again. I got it down below a hundred feet. And check it out what he's doing again. This has got to be at least a trophy marlin or something. I'm still I'm leaning towards a unique of some kind. No albacore, that's for darn sure. This is not an albacore, not a skipjack. There's no way wouldn't have that kind of strength. And it's fighting a lot like a marlin, but I've caught quite quite a few unique marlin, but we're getting sort of close. <laughs> Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't do this to me. Don't get to 20. He's going to get to 20 feet and then run it back out again. God bless it. It kills me when they do that. It's like they're teasing you. Come on. We got him. Yes! I called it again. I called it again. Two uniques back to back. Holy crap. 434. Now he's not a record, but he's close. Darn close. I'm kind of curious just how close he did come. Because I know the unique one I got that was my personal record was at least 430 pounds. Let me take a look at this fellow. <laughs> two two uniques in one day, or just a few minutes actually. Well, not a few minutes. It took me about 20 minutes to get him in. But I knew by the way he was fighting, he had to be big. I knew he was big. Jesus, Super Dave, what did you... What kind of spot is this? Lord. I think I'm definitely putting a navigation buoy here because I am going to do some serious fishing but I'm going to size my hook down this next time when I <laughs> go through here because that was a big fight. My, I mean my hand is literally getting sore from trying to catch this, pull this guy in. Wow. I was trying to see if I can get some better lighting but I can't see without cutting off his tail. That's not too bad, I guess. Let's get a picture of him. Wow, that's a big fish. Unique striped marlin. That's... 434. He was not my best, but let's see what my best was. I'm just kind of curious here. 457, yeah. I knew it was bigger than 434. Caught it with the same thing. I think, no, 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 I didn't. I caught him with a plug, that's right. So I caught that with a trolling octopus, 7 odd. But, yeah, there's another unique one back to back. This spot is amazing. Holy crap. Well, let's see if we can catch one more, guys, just to make this. But I am going to switch this out. That's just... That's too big for right now. I wanted to get something a little bit smaller. I wasn't going for Marlin at all. Let's see. Let's try switching this out with a... Small trolling octopus. About a four. 
Let's use the red one. We've got the rainbow one out there, so... It says it's a little bit light, so I'm gonna go ahead. It doesn't matter, though, with this. Once it sinks and gets out about 60 or so feet, we'll be good, but I'm just going to take a look and see if I see those birds again. Yeah, we'll put it about 80. And we'll throw this one out. Well, that is awesome. But I don't see my birds. Let's see if what we see on the sonar. Do we see anything? Well, we see deep fish. Truth be known, I thought Marlin could have pulled the boat. He was strong enough to do that. Well, let's go ahead and... What we'll do is we'll get right up to that ridge line. And then we'll head north. But I do want to get... Before I do anything here... I am going to go ahead, even though it was the unique marlin... It's the same spot that I caught the unique skipjack, so... If I want to come out here again, I can do so. But once we get to the ridge line, then I'm going to put a navigation buoy because that's where I want to kind of start this. There's the birds, too. Yep, we had, apparently the marlin had pulled us a bit. Okay, now we're going to go back through through these guys. Yep, there they are. Jeez. Oh, okay, we already got a bite. Don't tell me we've got us another marlin. <laughs> I don't know what we got, but it's... Eh... It's... If it's a marlin, it's not a monster. I think we got some kind of some kind of tuna. It's not the small variety though. And we got one on that too. Let's see if we can't Nope, he got off. Uh, maybe not. Well, what are they doing? <laughs> Alright. We'll just get this one. Yeah, this one's going to be a little bit tough to get in. I thought using the smaller hook would eliminate a big tuna going after it, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Several moments later... Okay, we're starting to make a little more progress on this guy. It just surprised me that he fought so darn hard. Let's see what he is, guys. Trophy big guy. Yeah, I knew he was definitely bigger than I an anticipated. He went after a small hook, though. 179 pounds. 
Jeez. It's another big one. Definitely some serious cash to be found here. That may just be what we got out here going on. Alright, let's put this back in the holder. We'll make one more pass. And see what we if we can't get something a little smaller this time. Okay, I still see the seagulls, but I'm not seeing any fish jumping at the moment. Okay, we're getting a little bit of bites, but nothing seems to be latching on. Let's start heading up north now. Actually, this is more northwest, but... Oh, shoot. Now we got... And we may have another big eye. This guy seems to be biting it pretty good. We'll know for sure here in a minute. If he keeps pulling it out. If not, we may have an albacore or another skipjack. But could be an albacore or skipjack. Because he is coming in fairly easily. He had a initial run, but something keeps nibbling on the other one, too, so I don't know. What do we got here, guys? Trophy albacore. Not bad. But yeah, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to call this an episode, but I am going to go ahead and mark this as a navigation buoy. Because... There they go. What do we got over there anyway? Oh, those look like Pacific Bluefin. Yeah. Alright guys, let's go ahead and mark that. And... Now we can find our way there, but that's the coordinates, 773609281355. And I think I might just go ahead and put another marker there just to... Even though it's just Trophy Albacore, just so we kind of know what's in the general vicinity. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode, that means we've got three left. And it didn't matter about the peak. The peak seemed to make no difference as far as whether you get the uniques or not. But we finally got that darn skipjack out of the way. Like I said, I was kind of surprised that I didn't get one because they're not really that tough to get. But... but we just have three left, and they are three tough ones. I mean, let's face it, they are very, very tough. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.